Okay, so this is the gym. I'm going to be doing a short map review on this. So, of course, when the doors open up, we're going to be running down these stairs. So you can always jump over the wall and get down quicker. But there's always going to be a belt flashlight here. Preferably, our assaults are going to pick this up so they can, so it helps them scrap. Because now you can see I can see scrap way further away. We can have someone run around scrap up here. I think I can find a use for then this. take the vents. Someone else can, can take that scrap on the other side. Over here. Preferably one of our salts. And the person scrapping scrap up here is going to get all the scrap around here. And in this bin. Said person's then going to meet us up handy. for the shortcut here. Which I'll show you where it drags out later. Most of us are going to drop down here. Probably, preferably one of our mechs is going to run back here and open up all the stalls. I'll typically drop down pick up these two and open up these stalls. And this is paramount for this this map, but there's a cricket bat right here. I will want one of the medics to pick up this cricket bat. Why the medics? Uh, and, instead of the scout, the scout's gonna be focusing on doing uh, more subjectives, preferably, and our medics can heal themselves if they get hurt more easily than the scout can. So that's why I want the medic to pick this up, preferably. Obviously, we'd run over here, try to avoid going this way unless you're really fast. Note that the kill spot is right helps. here, so if you want, you can stand over here and grab it safely if there is scrap there. There's going to be a few scraps in these showers. Obviously, you don't want to pick up that scrap. There's no way you can pick it up safely unless you know he's not giant. There's going to be scrap here and here, which the person coming from the vent can suck up these two. Preferably... We'll be all scrapped up around um, 14.30, I want to say. And then we're going to be pushing into this room. And we might want to go faster or slower depending on what the, the killer does. Now, in this room, for the crank, prefer if we know he's not giant, we're going to have someone stand over here. Because why over here? You can block killers spawning in behind this wall here. I mean, you can't stop them if they're over here. But there'll be someone else covering that, but you stop this entire lane, and you'll still stop a lot of the spawns back here unless it's behind the mat. But someone else will get the uh, mat spawn, so you don't have to worry about that. And we'll also have someone standing over here, preferably opening the door, because that will limit where the kill um, killer can spawn. And plus, if he spawns, and let's say it's Strangler or Giant, you can close the door later on the in his face to stop the charge, or bait one out and put it on cooldown then. That's why you want to have the door open. Because otherwise, if you have the door open, he can do this. Spawn right in that room in front of you. We don't want that. That's why you want to have doors open, typically. You don't want this to happen to you. Another thing you should note in here is the crowbar, which you will want to grab this fast. This is also another great medic, uh, weapon for the medic. Medics, I recommend once again picking up crowbars whenever you ha see the uh, opportunity to do so. Standing over here will block the spawn behind here. Limiting fiends to spawning back here. Also stop fiends from spawning far back in here, limiting them to spawning right here. And then the next place we want to spawn, the, uh, we want um, someone to stand is here, because then it blocks the spawn back here. And so if we if we stand in such a in all these positions, it stops the spin fiend from spawning close to the crank and gives the person doing the crank a lot of leeway to um, and warning. So that's why we want to stand where we are. So once again. One person, if possible, if not, if he, if it's a giant and we can't move across this kill zone, he can stand right here and it does most of the same job, which is we've sacrificed this entire side to the fiend, and that should be noted. We want one person here, one person in front of the fuel, one person here, and then the last person should be, you know, the last person can even um, go over here, the softer spawns over here. Or they could, if they, if we're worried about him spawning the killer room, we can stand back here. But the killer room's dangerous. There's a lot of corners that you can spawn in, so that's typically why you'll let him have the killer room. The last guy could stand like right here, 
And so typically the person standing over here, if the if a scout's not doing it, is going to be the scout because a scout can blind if they f so feel threatened. And this person's generally going to be away from everyone else. So if if you are the person standing over, make sure you try to run towards the team, and we can all run the support. But generally, just once again. Get ready to get out of here. This is probably the most dangerous position. And if a scout's not doing the crank, then this is the other person that's going to do it. Other people that should stand in dangerous positions where the fiend can spawn on them easily should be assaults. So then, for this side, this uh, assault should be standing here. And the and people for the more easier ones, medic could be standing here. Me medic or assault could be standing here, etc., etc. Some other um, important things. Obviously, there's a spider kill spot here. You can totally skip that by standing on this little box, this one in particular, and then jumping. You can get over the map very easily. If you don't jump off this little box, this is what happens. You can see you can't quite make it for whatever reason. So that's why you need to do it off this box. And then it allows you the, uh, the walk right over that spider kill spot scot-free. Otherwise, I'm going to meet you at the next part of the map, I think. I, I can't think of anything else to talk about in this part of the map. Oh! Actually, I do have one more thing to talk about. Adrenaline's always going to spawn here. Try to leave that for assaults if possible. If possible. Uh, hockey stick could spawn back in this corner, which I got lucky enough to and it did. So yeah, the hockey stick can spawn in this corner, which is a great grab, and then pills here. Now, on the rollout, I forgot to mention this, and I'll have to edit, probably edit this in, but if our scout feels risky, what you can do is you can run through this hallway, pick up all the scrap here while we uh, intercept the fiend in the lobby. The only problem about doing this is if the fiend does come, then either you can duck into this vent and get back to us, or just run the other way. It, this will be a dangerous um, venture if the fiend cuts you off, because he can put traps behind or in front of you, especially in this part of the hallway, as it gets really tight. So just keep that in mind. Something you can do, though, if the fiend does put traps in these tight hallways... Well, I guess not on this side. Okay, here you can you can see you can jump on, uh, onto these pipes and walk along this side of the wall. And it's the same is true for most of these other walls too. You can jump up on the pipes and walk along them. So just keep that in mind if if you are rolling out that way. But yeah, our scout can roll for here, roll out for here to pick up all the scrap in this hallway to help keep that cycling. And then the scout can also be in this room before we push and then stop the fiend from spawning in and disrupting us. Because if, if a scout's here, even the fiend's trying to defend this choke point here, then he can't... If the scout gets to, like, right here, then he can't spawn in immediately oh. to stop us. So that will be the plan if, if, if we're having troubles with the fiend and or we want to roll it faster, having the scout go that, down that way. While, of course, the medics and the assaults run through here and pick that up. I'll try to make a map. On, I'll probably make a video for the own roll to go into more detail about how to do it. But generally, try to go where other people are not to pick up scrap. And I'll probably recommend the assaults to take the most scrap heavy um, routes because the assaults are going to need a, a lot more scrap in the start than any of the other classes. Unless, of course, we want to try to get a taser. When we're bringing the field to the objective, typically we're going to want one guy to run ahead of the person carrying the field to try to block the spawns. Once we're putting the field in, you'll want one person to stand around, I want to say here, to block any, a lot of the spawns here. We're going to, of course, want, want one guy to stand around here to block these spawns. If we do that, once again, the, the fiend, no matter how he tries to position himself, cannot spawn behind this mattress. If possible, we want one of the assaults or scouts standing around here to try to push back the fiend's spawns. The, the best he can get is here, but note that they will be able to spawn in corners like here, 
on top of these boxes if they jump up here or on on this corner. Okay, we need to Actually, I guess not in that corner even, but Where would it be? But this would be one of the best ways to push the fiend back. The further you can push the fiend back, the longer it takes for him to stop the field if he's not in. Of course, this is not if he's not in. If they are sitting here camping, then what we can do is try to set up a smoke. But to do that, just remember that the field takes six seconds to complete. And as for the crank, I, when I did testing, and I forgot to mention this earlier, is it, it takes 35 seconds to complete the crank. So just keep that in mind. But yeah. Another good place to stand would be around here, but he can still spy him behind here. So that's why I want to have someone around back here, back even further back here. Once again, the limit more spawns. But the person staying back here should get ready to run through the A because most likely the Fiend's going to try to spawn in this hallway back here. But that's, once again, that's a position we're going to want to try to assume when someone's pointing the field and if the that Fiend's not in, and then we can have, a, once again, one of the assaults standing there, a field person that just body block. And that's what you're going to want to try to do, body block so we can, can complete the field and then de-engage once, of course, the field gets done. So get ready for that. Otherwise, yeah, that's pretty much how you, what we're going to do. We have one, two people run ahead, try to block spawns while we're moving the field through, you know, various choke points. Like, for example, if, let's say that I was carrying the field back here and I was in assault. I can run ahead in here. And now the fiend can't spawn in here. He has to spawn, he has to spawn way ahead of me. And that gives the person carrying the field more warning. So even if they're coming around this corner, now the fiend can't spawn here. Come in, start attacking like so. This is all the fuel, but we need more. Okay, so depending on this, okay, so we now we got the second part of the gym open. Most of the time I find that we kill the fiends around here because the fiends try to make a one dish effort to stop the field from getting in. If we don't kill the fiends, be careful because this door is one hell of a choke and they're going to be putting traps around these stairs and, and whatnot. So take this part of the uh, match slowly. But for as for findables, there's going to be quite a bit of scrap behind the stairs. There's going to be a lot of scrap in here behind the stalls. And for, once again, the medics, this is important. Uh, careful when you open the door to the spawns of cryptids. But there's going to be a cricket bat here if you want it. The next important thing for findables uh, will Anyone be hockey the spots. Of course, watch out because there's like two spider ambushes. One here. One here. <sighs> Kind of in the middle of the hallway, so if you stick close to this wall, you're gonna be basically skip all of them. Strangler, giant one here. We all know about that. Uh, of course, the skylight. So be careful about that. Fuel. Another adrenaline here. Oh, once again, that... try the uh, leave it for the assault. There'll be also a lot of scrap in here. The hockey stick can potentially spawn around this fridge, so keep an eye out for that. Um, this is generally one of the worst. Between the one that spawns down the bathroom, this is one of the worst spawns. Is this, of course, we've had times where the fiend just guards this field and it, it sucks. And it's also really long. In this type of situation, we want one guy to go in. Once again, people to try to block the spawns as long as possible. Try to make a conga line of spawn blockers Lift, and escape, try to have one behind the, the field so Let's they go. can't spawn behind. But that's generally what we're going to try to do if possible when carding the field. Um, <clears throat> as for this, as for the... Here's one. The, here's a, the last hockey stick spawn. It can spawn in this corner. This is once again is important for, for medics slash scouts to know anyone who's non a, non assault because the assaults are generally not going to be using the weapons you guys are. So other things to know. There's a crowbar it. here in between the skylights. We got this. This is another really important spot for. for no Hands on the fuel. Next one, no, no, our medics and scouts and whatnot to know. Excuse me. Um, more scrap in here. Belt flashlight here, pillows over here near the rescue. Pretty sure everyone knows about that. When we're trying to do this field, preferably we'll have someone stand up here around around this area to stop the fiends from spawning in. I don't care if they spawn in behind that door. Generally, if they spawn in th that far away, they're not going to get to the field in time. If it's not a strangler, then we can safely have someone here because I found, unless we can, no, it doesn't look like it could. But I found that generally if you're down here, you're 
strangler can ambush you, but have someone stand behind here Let's go. so that the so so the fiend can't spawn in. Another spot that's common if you're alone with the fuel will be back here. So just note that we we'll, we also want someone to stand here. If everyone stands in position in said positions, the fiend will have to spawn back here to spawn in and we could also at that point since we have a if we have a fifth person um stand out here to block more spawns just be careful about the skylight of course or they can stand by the um <coughs> the person standing here is generally going to be an assault ready the body block for the person because the fiend's course going to be trying to rush down these stairs if possible to block it okay once again this fuel. is all assuming that Where we can secure this room before the fiend gets to it <coughs> keep in mind that the fiend teleports right in front of the field here and he can go through these through the gate here into the other um set of stairs and behind he can also drop down and come through the uh thing so even if you do for this uh door's attack uh weird glitch but okay I'm um, the door. they can still Give get they can still go around and get through once again these Anyone drop downs he can actually come through this wire mesh too. There's a lot of ways for him to still get in. So don't just think because he board up that door that he has to go through there. A lot of the good fiends are just probably gonna ignore it and just go around the other way. <clears throat> so just keep that in mind against better fiends that have good map knowledge. But most of them are gonna be dumb and they're gonna break that. So that Game will plan. waste Find five of their the seconds. But yeah, that's generally what we should do for that part of the map to try the block spawns and to try to get those fuels in as seamlessly as possible. Of course, this is assuming that we've definitely secured the area and how we should try to secure the area against the fiend once again. Once we secure the area, we'll work on um, backwards. This spawn being the most important because it's the most closest. This spawn being the ne next most important for someone to stand. The so person escape, standing here should keep in day. mind if we still Let's haven't go. secured that upper area, that fiend can drop down their head. So if you're down here, just try to keep an eye up there. If the fiend comes down, and of course get ready to leave. And this one should be the last spawn that we secure. Once again, keep the doors open. It's permanent that you do because you don't want the fiend, the, the fiend to spawn on the other side of the door right next to you. It's not a good idea. And what once again, if they're fuel. open, because doors have collision, you could do something like so, and have them just get pushed. And anything that by any amount of time is good. Something I forgot to say is in the science room, there's a vent that goes to um, the room next to the uh, map room. The map room being the room right next to the, uh, or the map room Anyone being this room over the there field? with the rescue in it. But sometimes the field will spawn here, and the fiend's obviously going to be doing his best to try to protect you know protect this choke point here and you can go to the science room take the vent around behind to block the fiend spawn and of course you can stand here to block the spawn of the fiend in a lot of these places and that will make room headway for your team just note once you leave this corner the fiend can spawn behind you here and that we can rush your aid but that will stop him from just you know putting traps and stopping us here so that's another way we can that get in behind you. this room just keep that in mind when um, we're trying to get the feel right within this room. Keep in mind too that you can also go under here to um, also move the uh, feel. You can also, oh, I guess you can also jump over this table too. But that'll be about it. You can also jump up on these file cabinets, I think. Correct? Yeah, you can. Just. It's kind of jittery. And same with this t um, this table back here too. I forgot to mention this. You can actually have someone jump up here and block spawns here. It blocks the fiend from spawning in both these walls and it just generally makes it more miserable for the fiend to try to spawn in if we're pushing, once again, to this part of the hallway. So if someone running ahead, try to run here. Once we get around this part of the Find wall, the lift, you can run escape, over here, block this day. too, which will block even more of his spawns and just make it generally a lot freer for us. So just for the person running ahead, just note that you can, once again, jump over um, this desk here from both sides, actually. So if there's, like, once again, a wall traps, you can bypass the traps by jumping on this table because fiends are generally not going to trap that. I think the same is true for this desk here. Okay, we need to find uh, some fuel. 
Oh, it is. Where yeah, you can slip by, by this fountain. See, even I'm learning some new stuff. I don't think it's... Yeah, I think this is one table here that you can jump over. Yeah, you can't can't get over this because of the wall. Actually, never mind. You can't even get over this. It's just... I'm not sure if you can, see if you can do it from the other side. Sorry. I, I haven't... I didn't do too much testing to see if that's possible. Uh, it looks like you could, but it would be very fidgety and generally just not worth it. But yeah, you, you can... You can get by here Anyone by just jump crouching and then get over this. If, the, if once again, if the fiend's playing traps and trying to choke this up. <clears throat> anything to stop the fiend from spawning behind here and wasting time is really good. But yeah, when driving the lift, obviously we're going to have one person sit up here and do it. We don't need more people and unless said person needs to be healed. Generally, hopefully we'll have the medic driving the lift if they need to heal themselves. Because not only can they sit down and heal themselves, but that also gives their assault some more time to scrap. Oh. Note that once again, the spiders will be spawning from all these broken parts of the bleachers throughout the mission. Also keep in mind the fiend can drop down from the skylight, but we all know about that. Generally, to keep the fiend from spawning down on the ground, the assaults should try to position themselves around these uh, barriers. Yeah, close to the lift. So everyone will just kind of be sitting within a circle around the lift. And trying to once again block the fiend from spawning down in the ground. Just note that the fiend can also spawn, spawn at a lot of these other spots. You're not going to be able to stop them all. But just... If the, we just want to try to force the fiend from coming down from the skylight, and everyone once again should be positioning themselves in such a way the block spawns. Like here's a good spot for stopping them. We, we could have someone within this maze once the lift gets closer to this maze. Having someone back on this side would also be really good. Generally, the assaults are going to be sitting closer to the lift. The non-assaults are going to be sitting further away from the lift, as once again they ta they can do less within a fight. So that's how it should be ordered, if possible.